I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. This video is one in a series I did with my friend Ryan Harrell there sitting next to me in which we go through every single one of the BL Heli 32 options and tell you what they do and, most importantly, when you might want to change them. If you look down in the video description, there is a playlist link with all of the other videos in this series where we, you can learn everything about BL Heli 32 and if that's what you're into, go check that playlist out. So let's do some easy ones. Motor direction. Yeah. Normal. If you need to reverse your motor because it's spinning the wrong way, you change it to reversed, yep. and it makes the motor spin the other way. A couple interesting trivia about that. Um, the way that the motor spins, number one, if you buy clockwise versus counterclockwise motors, that only refers to the direction of the threads, mm -hmm. not the way the motor will spin. The way the motor spins depends on how it's connected to the ESC and how the ESC drives it. It's actually not really... I'm sure an electrical engineer could predict, but basically what we do is we just wire them up. We, wait, we see which way they spin yeah. and then reverse yeah. them if we need to. And there's an interesting uh, thing, discussion on this particular point because uh, maybe six months, a year ago, there was some people claiming that they were getting desyncs when the motors were reversed versus that. normal. But I spent an extensive amount of time talking with the devs of BL Heli and they're like, they're literally in the code. It's arbitrary. There's right. no difference between the way the motor is driven well, that's forward why it's or a bug. reverse. No one expects it. <laughs> so, <to know. laughs> right. So, so like they literally, they took apart the code and they're like, no, there's nothing here that would make that happen. So yeah. um, if, if something like that happened, it was, it was okay. coincidence. Yeah. Not. So then we've got bi-directional 3D. That's going to be used if you're like Zoe FPV and you you want them to be able to spin, make switch, spin, direction. switch directions in mid-flight. It's important to know that if you set them to bi-directional 3D, the zero throttle point becomes 50%. 50, 50%. Yeah. So you also have to go into beta flight and enable bi-directional mode. If mm -hmm. you set the ESC to bi-directional but not the beta flight or vice versa, and bad things will happen. You can set your centered throttle percentage there and mm -hmm. you just have to make sure that that matches whatever you have set in beta flight. Right. And then there's bi-directional 3D reversed which if is, you're, right. just makes it spin the other way. And bi-directional soft. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's new. I don't remember that. Right. So that's a newer feature in the latest ones and it has to do with um, how it handles that zero when it goes between directions, mm -hmm. how it, how it handles crossing. that acceleration. So... Um, when it's not the zero crossing as in the motor No, no, zero no, crossing, the throttle. As when the you're throttle going from zero, pushing right. one way to pushing the other right. way right. and the motor um, has to reverse, the motor has to like stop first, right. doesn't it? Right. Otherwise so, you'll get a desync. So it handles how that transition happens and how particularly the throttle is handled right around either side of that zero point. So, so at, soft is a little bit softer, a little bit slower. I actually am completely unfamiliar with this, but... As a 3D pilot, would you recommend people use that? I honestly, I've never tried it. I don't know. There's, okay. I know that um, the the devs added it specifically to answer some problems that some of the 3D pilots were having in certain circumstances. So there is a situation when it's applicable, but I don't know anything about. Well, when that we'll would have be. To, maybe I'll get a guest. I'll call Zoe and ask yeah. her. Okay, motor direction done, easy. And that is going to bring us to the end of this video. But of course, there's a whole lot of other BLH32 options and. Ryan and I will be covering every single one of them. Look down in the video description. There's a link to a playlist. And if some of those videos are private, it just means they haven't come out yet. There's like an hour of content here. So come back to the channel and eventually all of them will be released. And then you can uh, learn everything you want to know about BLHeli32. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.